Today, I'll be showing you how to make a delicious, fully loaded mashed potato casserole. It's the most comforting side dish that everyone loves. All you really need are some pantry staples, sour cream, bacon, cheese, and green onions to make this. Welcome back, my name is Daniel here to show you simplified recipes that are easy to follow using common ingredients. If you're new to this channel, remember to hit subscribe and the notification bell for more delicious recipes that your friends and family will love. Now let's get started on this fully loaded mashed potato casserole. Start by washing and peeling about two pounds of whatever kind of potato you like for your mashed potatoes. Give them a rough chop into large chunks of a somewhat even size. This does not have to be precise since we will be mashing them all up later. To a large pot of water that is being heated up to a boil, Add in your potatoes slowly, being careful not to splash yourself. Let it come to a rolling boil by partially covering it with a lid. In the meantime, thinly slice up two or more stalks of green onions. Chives is a classic in baked potato, so you could use that instead too. Then, chop up some crispy cooked bacon into bits. I'm only using four slices today, but feel free to use more if you wish. Shred some cheddar cheese. I'm using about 3 quarters of a cup here, but you could use more. Your potatoes should have come to a boil by now. Give them a quick stir and remember to salt the water a little and let it continue to cook. Add 3 tablespoons of butter to another saucepan over medium heat and crush in 3 to 4 cloves of garlic. I used a garlic press for convenience today, but you can certainly do this by hand as well. Give that all a quick stir and pour in a quarter cup of milk or cream, mixing it in and heating it through. Your potatoes should have cooked for about 10 minutes or so and be fork tender by now. Drain them and preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm using a potato ricer today to mash the potatoes but you can use a fork or potato masher to do this as well. I prefer using a ricer because it breaks the potatoes into tiny flaky pieces instead of a gluey mess. But use whatever you have on hand to do this. Your garlic, milk and butter should be well heated by now. So pour that into the potatoes and give it a good stir to combine. Then add half a cup of sour cream, most of the bacon, green onions, and cheese, reserving some for garnishing the top. Stir everything together until just combined. Don't overmix. Remember to season it with some salt and pepper to taste. I also added dehydrated onion here, which is entirely optional. This is also your opportunity to adjust the consistency of the mashed potatoes by adding in more milk if you like it runnier. Pour the mashed potatoes into a casserole dish and spread it out into the corners. Making sure the top is nice and even. It's now ready to bake at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 to 25 minutes. Take it out and sprinkle over the remaining bacon, cheese, and green onions. Back into the oven it goes. And yes, I was also making chicken wings to go along with it, which I have a terrific recipe for that you should go check out. Bake it for another 10 minutes or so until the cheese on top is melted and bubbly, letting it cool slightly before serving. And there you have it, my fully loaded mashed potato casserole that will totally impress your family and friends. This dish is so simple to make and can be adapted to easily feed a crowd making it perfect for potlucks and parties. Trust me, it is so good. Enjoy! Alright guys, it is time for the taste test. 
fully loaded mashed potato casserole. Here we go. Let me get some bacon and cheese and green onions. Oh, I'm really excited. Here goes the first bite. Wow, it is still steaming hot. Hope I don't burn myself. Here we go. Oh. Oh man. So satisfying. I mean, this is really good. Mmm. Mmm. Mashed potatoes with cheese and bacon and green onions and, and butter. And it just works so well together. Remember to add in that garlic because that just amps up the flavors to the next level. But you gotta have that bacon in there and the green onions and everything just tastes so good and it's rich and it's creamy and it's delicious. If you want it even more rich, swap out some of the milk, add in some cream. You can even increase the amount of cream if you want it a little bit uh, runnier in consistency. Add more cheese, add more bacon, add more green onions, add all of that stuff. You can double all of that. Uh, but I wanted to keep this a little bit healthier. But this is absolutely fantastic. I really hope you guys give this a try because it is that good. It's such an easy side to make and put together. Tonight I'm having chicken wings with it, but you can serve it alongside pretty much anything else. It works great as a fall Thanksgiving side. And you can also double this recipe or triple it for a large amount of people. So this is perfect for potlucks or if you're feeding a crowd. Make this fully loaded mashed potato casserole. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. And as always, if you like this recipe, give me a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below what you like to pair your fully loaded mashed potato casserole with. And remember to hit subscribe and the notification bell for more delicious recipes. I will see everyone soon. Till next time, bye everyone.